Okay, my shift is coming to an end. Time to go. There you go. All right, guys, out of the night shift. Now I have around 300 kilometer drive, and over there I'm gonna meet up with my buddy. Then we're gonna come in one car and go together on this location. Over there, there'll be six or seven of us. We'll have some fun, collect chestnuts, this is the time of year. And uh, every year we go there together, and we're all kind of uh, from all around the country, okay? We'll have some fun. I have my teepee with me. The forest is just beautiful over there, and uh, you'll see. Stay tuned. I gotta share with this this mountain is really beautiful. I film a few of my bits here. Here. We go. And we are out. As I said, a whole different world. But uh, this fog should uh, fall pretty quickly. It's the morning, so it's just normal. Know this guy? itself is pretty good. We have 5 degrees Celsius, we have some fog, but it's not cloudy. It's just perfect for the trip. If I'm not mistaken, that's his car. So let's continue. Hey! Check this forest out. Yeah, you were searching for a cave and he just fell off with my drone.
This is gonna be my home for the night. The guys are sleeping in the cave and there's not much space inside, so I decided to put my hot tent here. Great place. This forest is just beautiful. And we came here for one thing particularly, and you're gonna see it soon, okay? I think uh, there are no stones around, so I should be comfy enough. And time to set my bed, and I'm gonna go there to enjoy with the crew, okay? Right, time to walk around. Some over here, something different today. No traditional eggs. My bed inside, my stove. And you can see how it looks from this side here. The other guys are over there in that cave, which is amazing. Okay, let's go over there to see what they're doing. Now we're going to see where Mr. Frost is going to sleep. And this is a bad mat. <laughs> Check this shelter out. <laughs> Tent works perfect just like the last time. And I'm gonna leave it like this to dry out these leaves around and I'm gonna go over there in a the cave and uh, spend some time with the guys. I haven't seen them for a while. Sleeping in this hot tent was, uh, yeah, 
a hut and it's crazy hot. I have to remove this top here just to get some airflow inside. But uh, all in all, it's just perfect. I highly recommend this kind of sleeping, glamping. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Time to get some tea and to check on the other guys how they did through the night. This is just perfect, right? Since this is a more of a vlog with, you can see my gear here for filming, the batteries. And this is how it looks like from all around. And the guys, where were they? Check the shelter out. And check this bed mat. How is sleeping in this? Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Nice and cozy. Yeah, he doesn't care. Okay guys, since uh, this video is coming to an end, I want to finish it with an uh, FAQ, uh, kind of QA. and I'm going to go through a few questions that are uh, pretty often asked in my comments. So, I will let you know about some stuff in my private life as you want it. So, I want to start it first. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Croatia. Where is Croatia? Uh, check it on the map. Nikola Tesla, torpedo, uh, parachute, all kind of stuff is invented in Croatia. By Croatians actually, okay? Second question. How old are you? I'm 26. Almost. In uh, around 20 days. Third one. Are you making your living by YouTube? No, I'm not. I'm a full-time firefighter and that's what I do for a full-time. So YouTube is kind of a side and for that reason, uh, because I have my real job, you have sometimes a gap in between my vids, which are sometimes 20 days. I have a small small kid back home. I have a son which is uh, eight months old and that's kind of, uh, yeah, you have to be, you cannot be on all places at one time. Uh, family first, of course, always take care of that, okay? How long are you practicing bushcraft and survival? Well, I started back in 2009, I think. I have a few of my vids, uh, I even upload on this channel. I'll try to find it and I'm gonna link it uh, below in a description. But yeah, actively like this, sleeping uh, since I was 18. And that is, uh, yeah, seven years now, uh, almost eight. And before that, as a kid, I was always outside in the forest doing stuff, so this one is an interesting one. Bear grills, ray mirrors, or someone else. Uh, in between two of them, I would say ray mirrors, and from all of them, I would say Les Stroud. If you take away this Sasquatch thing, I don't like it. But as, uh, as the survival shows, yeah, definitely the Les Stroud, the most realistic one. Do you have kids? 
Yeah, I said on that one I have sun. I saved the last one, which is about my dog. And there are a few questions about him and uh, I'm gonna start a full story about him. So, uh, his name is Cairo. He's not a German Shepherd, he's Belgian Malinois. He's almost five years old and I got him when he was uh, seven months old. He was actually too aggressive to, to be held by his previous owner, so there were, there were a lot of problems with him. And I uh, adopted him. Yeah, I was uh, I had the huge, huge problems with him being aggressive to the to the males, not the dogs, the people. Okay. Uh, with, with, with the women, no problem at all. He won't bite. But with the men, that was a pretty, pretty rough one. And uh, now, uh, yeah, I would say that I did uh, I did a good job uh, about his uh, behaving. He's a great dog now. He's uh, home with my wife and with my son. Uh, he's great to our son. That that was the biggest fear that I had uh, when I was uh, yeah when we found out that the wife was pregnant. The Cairo is kind of a dog that is uh, sometimes pretty weird. Okay, he's not the type of a dog that will come to you, you know, wave his tail, jump to you, lick you. So he only do does that to me, not even to my wife. Sometimes he's just uh, he wants to be left alone. And uh, yeah, what else about him? He's a crazy dog. A lot of you ask me, uh, should I get that dog? Uh, do I recommend that uh, breed? Well, uh, absolutely not. If you're not skilled, this is the third generation of Belgian Malna that I own, okay? I owned uh, Ria before, I had to put her down, you know that story. My father has the... also has a female. But that's a dog that needs a lot of your time, trust me. And uh, right now, even I, with uh, all of this stuff that I do for you guys here, and film my son and everything, that dog really, really needs to work, okay? Otherwise, he'll be crazy, he can become aggressive. They're really, really intelligent dogs, you, you won't believe it. I have to make with just about that how he behaves at home. Some, some stuff are just, he's like human, okay? And we really look at him like a part of family. He's not someone that is, uh, yeah, it's just a dog, it's just a, no, he's part of family, right? And that's how you have to look at it. The thing that might surprise you, he's a trained attack dog. He also, he's a search and rescue, and I work with him all kind of stuff, so um, detection and uh, I have to show you a bit when he's working and uh, you'll see that he's pretty different than in a bit, but anyway, he's crazy as hell, okay? So yeah guys, that would be it for this vid. Hope you enjoyed it. I really wanted to show you behind the scenes a little bit, how it looks like. Uh, this is a gathering, you saw that shelter, it's just awesome, it's on a thumbnail. It was just too awesome to not put it on, okay? And uh, yeah, guys here, uh, I'm the youngest one, the oldest one is almost 60 year old, so... Yeah, really, really, real nice crew. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope you'll enjoy the next few drone footages. As always, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.